Evolution of the Sultan. Aladdin, 1992. In the wake of Jasmine's birthday, princes from foreign kingdoms visit the Sultan's palace to seek Jasmine's hand in marriage, as she must be married to a prince according to the law. Upon the disastrous visit of Prince Ahmed, the Sultan, voiced by Douglas Seal, chastises Jasmine for her refusal to choose a husband because she wants to be provided for once he passes away. Later on, the Sultan finds Jasmine in her room, very upset. She tells her father that she ran away to escape the suitor business, and that during her adventure, she met and befriended a commoner who seems to have been killed on Jafar's orders. The Sultan reprimands Jafar for his actions. Upon meeting Prince Ali Ababwa, the disguised Aladdin, the Sultan is instantly impressed by the pomp and grandeur of his entrance, so much so that he quite forgets that he is not invited, nor indeed ever heard of any Prince Ali. He allows Prince Ali to remain at the palace while he tries to court Jasmine. The Sultan is likely unconcerned with the anonymity of Prince Ali, nor is he worried about details, such as his native country, as he is glad to have a concerned suitor after Jasmine chased all the other princes away. Later, Jafar hypnotizes the Sultan in order for Jasmine to marry him. However, this plan is foiled when Aladdin reveals Jafar's treachery. The Sultan orders Jafar's arrest, but Jafar manages to escape. At first, he expresses his disbelief that his most trusted advisor had been plotting against him, but after seeing Aladdin and Jasmine together, he realizes that the two have fallen in love, and Jasmine confirms that she has chosen Prince Ali as her suitor. The Sultan is utterly delighted that Jasmine has finally chosen a suitor, and without hesitation, blesses their union. The very next day, the Sultan announces Aladdin and Jasmine's engagement to the kingdom, but Jafar returns with the lamp to become Sultan. When the Sultan and Jasmine both refuse to bow to Jafar, even as the Sultan of Agrabah, Jafar makes his wish to become a sorcerer. He makes the Sultan a living jester marionette, on whom Iago takes out his anger about being force-fed dry crackers. However, when Jafar is defeated, all his spells break with the Sultan being returned to his royal outfit. When everything returns to normal, the Sultan decides to abolish the Prince marriage law so that Jasmine can marry the man whom she deems worthy, Aladdin. The Return of Jafar, 1994. In the second movie, the Sultan, voiced by Val Betton, announces that he wants to make Aladdin his new Grand Vizier. However, he grows suspicious of Aladdin after he defends Iago, who used to work for Jafar, and commands him to watch the bird. When Jafar returns, he takes advantage of Iago's new position as an ally to Aladdin, and makes him suggest the Sultan and Aladdin have a discussion in a place where they are ambushed by Jafar and Abis Mal. The Sultan is imprisoned along with Aladdin's friends, and Jafar uses his turban to frame Aladdin for his murder. He is later freed by the genie, who is then freed by Iago saving Aladdin from getting beheaded by a tricked Razul. He is later seen at the end of the movie, again requesting Aladdin to become his vizier. But Aladdin turns down the Sultan's offer because he wishes to travel and see the world with Jasmine. Aladdin, the series, 1994. Throughout the TV series, the Sultan, also voiced by Val Betton, played a prominent supporting role, with a few episodes looking at his efforts to form alliances with other nations, including one occasion where he was nearly roped into a marriage to Queen Hypsodeth, and others looking at his past. One episode saw Aladdin and the gang forced to deal with a plant-based sorcerer named Arbutus, whom the Sultan had unintentionally offended by taking a rose from the creature's garden in his youth. Arbutus demanded that in twenty years he wanted the Sultan's most precious treasure in return, and this treasure was Jasmine. On some occasions, Sultan would attempt to prove that he could be a heroic and daring adventurer, much like Aladdin, which he proved when Jasmine was kidnapped by Amazons who wanted to include her in their family. This aspect of his character was mostly explored in the episode Armored and Dangerous. Aladdin and the King of Thieves, 1996. The Sultan meets Aladdin's father, Qasim, not knowing he is the King of Thieves, and immediately accepts him. However, Razul later reveals to the Sultan that Qasim is the King of Thieves, and with no other choice, the Sultan has Razul incarcerate Qasim in the dungeon for life. After Aladdin helps Qasim escape the dungeon, he comes back to accept the consequences for his actions. The Sultan prepares to punish Aladdin in anger for freeing Qasim, but Genie and Jasmine come to his defense, stating that all he wanted was to give his father a second chance. The Sultan accepts his apology. At the end of the movie, his wish of seeing Jasmine marry someone comes true when she marries Aladdin. House of Mouse, 2001
The Sultan appears as a cameo character. Most of the time, he can be seen applauding after a cartoon, with Jasmine sitting with him. Disney Princess Enchanted Tales, Follow Your Dreams, 2007. The Sultan, voiced by Jeff Bennett, plays a supporting role during Jasmine's segment of the movie. He is first seen during a morning routine of handing over an apple to Sahara, the former horse of Jasmine's deceased mother. The Sultan explains to Jasmine that her mother was the only rider the aggressive Sahara was accepting of. Without the apple, it wouldn't be safe for even the Sultan to interact with the horse. As he makes his way, Jasmine expresses her desire to add to her community, to which the Sultan responds by bestowing her a position as Royal Assistant Educator at the Royal Academy. Later on, Sahara is mysteriously released from her pin, though the person responsible is unknown. The stable boy Hakim worries for his job, but Jasmine volunteers to find Sahara herself. To keep her father in the dark about the incident, Jasmine asks her lady-in-waiting to keep the Sultan occupied during her journey. The Sultan is successfully kept from the stables for the entirety of the day, but eventually loses his patience. Just as he arrives at the stables, Sahara returns with Jasmine as his rider. Astonished by the sight, the Sultan expressed his happiness at seeing the similarities between Jasmine and her mother. Aladdin on Broadway, 2014 on Broadway, The Sultan Appears, portrayed by Clifton Davis. As told by Emoji, 2015. An emoticon version of The Sultan briefly appears at the end of the Aladdin entry of the short series. Once Upon a Time, 2016. The Sultan appears in the show's sixth season, where he is the Sultan of Agrabah's capital. He became a near-mindless puppet as a result of Jafar's consistent hypnosis which the latter utilized to rule the city. He is eventually freed from his curse by the combined efforts of Jasmine and Aladdin. Aladdin, 2019. In the live-action movie, the Sultan is portrayed by Navid Negabon. Here, the Sultan's personality is more serious compared to his animated counterpart, but it retains the original's kind and benevolent nature. In addition, it is revealed that his wife comes from the kingdom of Shurabad, which Jafar sought to conquer who was murdered prior to the events of the movie, causing the sultan to keep their daughter inside the palace for protection. At the end of the movie, he steps down from his position as the sultan and passes it on to Jasmine. Once Upon a Studio, 2023. The sultan appears as a cameo character in a group photo, alongside other Disney characters.